Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to review for you the two Dior blushes. These are the ones that you apply on your cheek and with the pH of your skin, they tend to change color to your perfect blush shade. So I've got this beautiful shade in coral as well as the shade in petal. So this one is an older packaging because I've had this blush for years. It is the same shade as the newer packaging. And then this is a new packaging which is a lot more compact. Let's get into the swatches first. So I'll show you what these look like on my skin and then we'll have a bit of a chat. So it's kind of like a very, very light, almost pastel Barbie pink. This is one of those shades I would never ever purchase because these type of shades never look good on me. However, as we know, this blush tends to change color a little bit. So it does warm up on my skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this shade on this side of my cheek. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply. Now, when I first apply this, it does look pretty light on the cheek. I wonder if you can see that. But give it a couple of minutes and this will warm up. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying this. So I'm applying this on an unset foundation. What I love about these powder blushes is that these are actually quite smoothing on the skin. I find that they're very, very texture friendly. Did you see the color change? Now it's becoming warmer. It's no longer that petal pink on my skin anymore. So it doesn't take long, but you do need to give it a couple of minutes for it to change color. And we can absolutely see that. I feel like you could see the change on camera. So going back to the texture, I find that I can take this blush all the way in my pore area and it doesn't emphasize pores. It's actually really beautiful and smoothing on the skin, which is one of the reasons why I actually ended up picking up the coral shade as well. I do like the formula, even though it is very, very expensive. So that looks like a beautiful pinky blush for my skin tone and I really enjoy it. I remember one time I was doing my mom's makeup and I picked up this blush to apply on her and she looked at me and she's like, that blush. And I said, yeah. And then I pop it on her face. She saw on herself in the mirror a few minutes later and she's like, whoa, what is that blush? She loved it because it, you know, it, it looks very scary. And it, see, I mean, look at that shade. It does not look like this shade on my cheek. So it definitely warms up to your skin tone. And this looks very, very flattering on me. I think. Now I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off. And I'm going to put coral on the other side and we'll compare the two. So I have been dying to buy coral for the longest time, but it's always been out of stock here in New Zealand. It's taken me a year to get a hold of this. So I'm just using the other mirror because it's larger and applying the coral shade. Yep, you can kind of see that coral shade right there. Even with the very light pastel coral, it doesn't actually look bad on my skin at all. We'll see how this changes. I'm gonna spread it. So I'm not sure if you can tell that color is definitely changing on me. So this is the shade Coral and it has absolutely warmed up on my skin. So this is the shade Coral. And then this is the shade Petal. And you can see that they do look different on me. I will say that there are times when I apply less blush, so I, I apply less than what I've got on my face at the moment, and the two shades almost look identical. I think it's just because both of these shades warm up and they look slightly warm on my cheek. And so yes, you can see that this is slightly pink and you can see this is slightly peach, but in real life, to be honest, when I apply them, let's say when I go to work, um, they look, they end up looking very, very similar to each other, especially when you apply a sheer layer and you don't really build up the way I have today. So I'm a fan of these blushes. Yes, they're very expensive and they're probably not worth the money, but I have really enjoyed them to the point where they, I was stalking this shade and the minute I saw it come into stock, I purchased it. What can I tell you? 
I'm a sucker for Dior, right? Like I really enjoy a lot of Dior products. So in terms of application, you saw that they're very easy to apply, they're easy to blend. Now, so I've applied them on top of a non-set foundation. So I haven't added any powder. This powder blush just applied beautifully on a slightly tacky foundation. So it didn't apply patchy. It blended out really, really nicely. Of course, I've also used these on top of powder and then they blend seamlessly. They last all day on me. So that's one of the key things with this blush. If you are thinking of spending this kind of money on a blush, you wanna make sure it actually lasts an entire day, and it does. So as long as I've still got my foundation on, the blush will still be on my face, and I wear these to work, and I come back home after like a nine hour day, and I can still see blush on my face. So absolutely, longevity is not an issue. And honestly, I kind of enjoy both shades. I enjoy the pinky one and I really, really enjoy the coral as well. So if you have been deliberating on whether you wanted to buy this or not, I just want to tell you, you don't have to buy them. You know, just using any pink or coral blush will probably look the same, but they are good quality. And in my opinion, if you choose to buy them, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Let me know in the comment section below if you already have these, what do you think of them? And I will see you guys in my next video. See ya.